Hello. Hello again to everyone. Um, today we're going to focus in a small uh, discussion of a brief topic. Uh, we're going to speak about the proximal tendon of the biceps family. So you may, you may think, oh, the proximal tendon of the biceps family is what we know uh, as the common tendon. Yes, but we will focus on the last part of this tendon. We'll see. Let's go. First of all, as always, really, really, really important to know the exact anatomy of the region and what we are talking about. As you know, there is a common tendon here that is uh, formed by the semitendinosus and the biceps femoris long head, and there is also a free tendon here. But the uh, proximal tendon of the biceps is going through around here, up to the most distal part. Of the, of the biceps femoris long head. So we're going to see a little bit of this. We're talking about the distal part uh, injuries. So we're located in this region here. And here we can see different injuries such as the biceps femoris long head uh, and or short head. And uh, we can also find very infrequent but semimembranosus or semitendinosus injury. But we are now here to discuss about the long head of the bicep femoris injuries, specifically the injury of the most distal part of the proximal tendon. If you get an, ex uh, an schema like this one, um, we are talking about this structure as being the proximal tendon of the bicep femoris. And look that this structure, this tendon, this proximal tendon arrives almost to the most distal part of the biceps femoris. So this is really important because we can have injuries, yes, in the free tendon, we can have injuries in the common tendon, as we know, but we can also have injuries in that most distal part of this tendon. Let's look uh, how, it, how it looks like this proximal tendon in ultrasound. We are moving here, so we can see that this tendon moves from longitudinal to transversal and here disappears and look that we are all almost in the most distal part of the uh, posterior thigh. We'll put it again, look, here is the common tendon but here it moves from longitudinal to transversal and ends exactly there. Again, here the sciaticus nerve, here the tendon, and now it rotates and it's here. And it ends up here, exactly. So look that here we are located, here is the short uh, head of the biceps femoris and here the popliteal uh, artery. So we are almost in the most posterior part uh, of the knee. So very, very distal. And here we can have an injury that it looks like this in the MRI, a very small teeth, a very small dot here. Uh, we are located exactly in that point there. So look in the, uh, in the ultrasound, it's just like this area. And you may say, oh, but this is a very small and very mild injury. Yes, sometimes, yes, we can see some cases. Look at this uh, video, for example, you can see here it's like a, a hurricane image. It's like a, a small dot here, you can see. Look, whoop. it's like there. Yeah, it's very mild, it's very subtle. You need to uh, train your eye to look at this injury. We can see here another, maybe, maybe bigger. You'll see here and look, the aponeurosis and here you can see it much better, this injury. Okay, let's put again the video. You can see here the aponeurosis rotating there. Here is the aponeurosis at the end, intramuscular. And here, plop, you can see the image of the distal part of the tendon, as you can see here, much better in the, in the MRI. And why is this so important? Because this is a real case of a basketball player and um, you can see that here there is an image that it makes look uh, our attention. What happens to that image? Let's, get, let's make it a little bit bigger. And you can see 
that there is here one, two, three small spots in the, in the MRI. If we make an schema, it looks like this as a first injury, this is the second injury, and this is the third injury. So the thing is that we are talking about a tendon injury. Look how it looks like in the, in the ultrasound. In this case, one scar fibrotic tissue there and another here. As you could see, again, one here and another here. These are two re-injuries. This is not the same case as this one because here it were uh, three re-injuries, but um, it, were, uh, it is a highly risk of re-injury in that kind of injury. Here we can see a beautiful longitudinal panoramic scan of the biceps femoris long head. Here we can see the sciaticus nerve. Here we can see the proximal tendon of the biceps femoris moving inside the muscle and just at the point, at the most distal point, there is a rupture here, there is a injury just in the tendon. If you, uh, if you want to see the same with a panoramic uh, with a panoramic ultrasound scan in transversal plane, you can see the same injury here. You can see the biceps femoris long head and the tip of the distal tendon here, uh, uh, sorry, uh, to the most distal part of the proximal tendon here, the, the injury. Again, two more videos about this injury. It's quite frequent injury here, the tendon rotating, moving up here and this, it's exactly the injury, the same injury as before. And in longitudinal, here we have the sciaticus nerve. Here we have the proximal tendon of the biceps femoris and it's in most distal part, you can see that kind of injury. So what we really need to take into account according to this injury? Some things. This is not an uncommon injury. The thing is that sometimes uh, passes through us without uh, knowing it and it's uh, heart risk, uh, a high risk of injury, much more frequent than you might think. Follow always the proximal tendon until it ends, almost in the posterior part of the knee, as, we, as, as I said. Um, structural changes in ultrasound, um, yes, sometimes it can be seen quite easy, but sometimes as the first images I showed, uh, there are very, very, very subtle. So you need to train your eyes in most cases to see that injury with ultrasound. The most important thing is that you um, think about it is possible to be that kind of injury. Despite all of these, that it, uh, the, the, the structural changes or the clinical uh, aspects could be really mild, it is a tendon injury, and as you may know, as uh, tendon heals um, slower than muscle, so that means that the return to play time will be quite long. The mean time for a secure return to play according to this injury and to avoid these uh, images such as two, three, four re-injuries in that area, it's about three weeks. If not, it would take a lot longer. Um, so. Now we have a speak about the proximal tendon of the bicep femoris, um, focusing on, on the most distal part of this proximal tendon. Hope you uh, enjoyed this little brief talk and hope to see you in, in my channel. Thank you very much.